We've all heard the numbers. 800 and 850 million active Facebook users across the world. Over half of the North American population is on Facebook. But what are we actually using Facebook for? How many people in here have a Facebook account? That's over half the room. What are we actually using Facebook for? Of course, we're using it to stay up to date on friends, new friends, old friends, family, seeing where people are going on vacation, who's having yet another kid, <laughs> those types of things. It can kind of seem overwhelming. So how can we make social media work for us? How can we make social media enhance our lives rather than overwhelming it? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster and honored guests, I'd like to talk today about how you can all make social media work for you. Now, there are obviously copious amounts of social media <laughs> concepts, tools, platforms, all centered around making your life easier. Some may work better than others. There are a lot of different tools that can enhance many different areas of your life. Let's start off by talking about how social media can work for your family life. Let's say, for instance, our friend Preston is looking to redo his kitchen. And his wife really has some ideas in mind. She doesn't know what she wants to do, but she knows she wants to change her kitchen, and she knows she wants Preston to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> now what Preston and his wife can do is for the next four Saturdays, go to Home Depot, Lowe's, paint, shop, paint shops, figure out what the different ideas that she wants to integrate in her tincture into her own kitchen, or he can use the help of social media. By logging on to a site called Pinterest.com, Preston and his wife can search different images throughout the website from kitchen tile ideas, furniture arrangement ideas, color schemes, all within the comfort of their own home. Now Preston has a brand new kitchen with the help of social media, saving him time, gas money, maybe a few headaches, all with the help of social media. The best part is after the kitchen is finished, he can log back onto Pinterest, find a few recipes to put that kitchen to good use. Social media can also be used in your professional life. Let's say, for example, our friend Jeff is on the up and up. He's looking, he's looking for a new job. But not just any job. Jeff is interested in working at Bayside Media Company. Luckily, Jeff has logged on to LinkedIn a few months ago and has 50 connections. For those of you who don't know, LinkedIn is a social media platform made specifically for professionals. There are user groups, such as Toastmasters International, where you can connect with like-minded individuals and like, like industry professionals. So back to Jeff, he has 50 connections on LinkedIn. Those 50 connections give him a reach of 5,000 professionals. Similar to six degrees of Kevin Bacon, Jeff has two degrees of 5,000 professionals across the country. One of those professionals that Jeff is connected to is Zach Morris. Zach Morris is connected to AC Slater. AC Slater works at Bayside Media Company. Zach Morris connects the two, Jeff sends over his resume, gets the interview, lands the job, and now has a better opportunity with the help of social media. Congratulations, Jeff. <laughs> Social media can also help in your personal life. Now a lot of times people throw around personal life, it means everything other than work. When I use this term personal life, I don't mean your friends and family, I mean you personally, your own personal hobbies and interests. Let's say for example, our good friend Mike. He's been watching Jersey Shore, and he's been feeling very inspired to, see that. to work on his body including his buys and tries. <laughs> what my friend do is drive down to his local gym, spend 
$100, $200, say, an hour on a personal trainer. Or he can use the help of social media. By logging into YouTube and searching any one of their hundreds of thousands of how-to and tutorial videos, Mike can accomplish the same thing with less money. Now, a surprising statistic on YouTube, Mashable says that for every minute that goes by, there's one hour of video content uploaded to YouTube, which means in this very Toastmasters meeting, there's 120 hours of video content uploaded to YouTube. So, with the help of social media, Mike is toned on a budget. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, there are lots of other tools, concepts that we haven't discussed today. This was just to open your mind and hopefully start thinking about how social media can fit into your own life. So the next time you're faced with a challenge or a problem, you might want to give social media a try. It could be the shortcut to your solution. Mr. Toastmaster.